This video is a quick demonstration of how potentiometers work in electric guitars. A potentiometer, or pot, has three terminals and inside the casing is a rotating wiper or bridge that drags along an arc made of semiconductive material. As the wiper rotates, it varies the resistance between the outside terminals and the center terminal. Think of it like a dimmer switch that gradually redirects electricity away from a light. As the wiper moves from the left, Resistance increases between the center and left terminal and gradually the connection between the center and right terminal becomes more relevant. If you take a pot apart, you might say, this looks absolutely nothing like your drawing. And true, this is simply a conceptual illustration. In this example, the signal is coming into the center terminal and the knob on the other side of the potentiometer is turned up completely. The wiper is connected to the terminal on the left and there is no degradation of the signal passing through the potentiometer. As the wiper moves from the left to the right terminal, the signal is gradually redirected to the right terminal. In this example, the model is more indicative of how a volume pot would be wired. The signal from the pickups is connected to the left terminal, the wire on the center terminal is going to the amp's input, and the wire on the right terminal is going to ground. With the knob turned up completely, the connection to the amplifier is 100%. As the knob is turned down, the wiper moves from the left to the right terminal and the resistance increases between the left terminal and the center terminal, essentially turning off the signal to the amp, but gradually. Now we see a common feature on volume knobs, the treble bleed. The purpose of the treble bleed is to create a bridge that allows the higher frequencies in the signal to pass to the center terminal as the resistance increases inside the potentiometer. With the volume turned up completely, the treble bleed is inactive. As the knob is turned down, the resistance increases between the left and center terminals, and the treble bleed, made up of a capacitor and resistor, gradually opens an alternate route for the higher frequencies to connect with the amplifier's input. The resultant sound is bright and clean. As we continue to turn the knob down, the path to ground through the potentiometer offers less resistance to these remaining frequencies than the path to the amplifier. Turned all the way down, the high frequencies have also been depleted from the amp. In some circuits, a small amount of residual signal can still be heard. Let's look at how a tone knob works. In this example, the signal wire is connected to the potentiometer through the center terminal and the current's only path is going to ground on the right terminal. With the knob turned up completely, the potentiometer is basically inactive. As the knob is turned down, a pathway to ground is open to the signal path. If we don't add anything else to the potentiometer, 100% of the signal would be disappearing to ground. To make a proper tone knob, we have to block the low frequencies from disappearing. To do this, we add a capacitor that only allows the high frequencies to pass through it. As the knob is turned down, the highs gradually go to ground, darkening the tone, and the low frequencies are unaffected. As a sidebar, I've added the values of the capacitors in these illustrations. These are common values, but you have a range of choices available that have more or less impact on the tone, depending on the value of the capacitor. Here's an illustration of a wiring schematic for a guitar that I'm working on. This was a 70s reissue Stratocaster and it had really bright pickups. I didn't really care for the sound of them, so I went on reverb and I found uh, you know, three uh, other kind of unique pickups to put in here. And I figured while well, I'm replacing the pickups, I might as well just, you know, redo the wiring as well, like all of it. And I don't know, it's just kind of cool, you know, when you open it up and see what's under the hood. So uh, this is a little non-standard. What I'm doing is giving a, a dedicated tone pot to the bridge. Typically, the bridge wouldn't even have a, a tone pot assigned to it. Um, and then the middle and the neck pickups on this are connected with a jumper on the five-way switch, and those go to the other tone pot. The pink arrows in the, the line with the pink arrows, that's the um, signal path. And then the line with the blue arrows, that's the path to ground. Uh, the little G's on the weld spots, that just means ground. Um, I did start originally wanting to make a video about this, but I got sidetracked thinking it'd be cooler to start with, you know, talking about the potentiometers and then I'll move on to something like this. When I'm done with this video, I'll add the link in the description. Well, 
That's it. I hope you found this useful. I tried to keep it brief and informative. And if you liked it, hit like and subscribe.